Hi, we're Team One, and we're presenting Ocean Wave Energy. I'm Will Bellini. And I'm Pedro Hubert. What is Ocean Wave Energy? Uh, the main idea behind this concept is the, to create energy through the use of the mechanical movement of the waves, doing so through um, wave energy converters. Wave energy converters are devices that are designed to take advantage of this movement, of this mechanical movement, to transform, to transform it to electrical energy. Um, the, go the global potential energy is shown to be between 1,000 and 10,000 GW. There are different configurations for these devices. The first device I want to talk about are the point and so absorbing buoys. These buoys transform the up and down movement of the buoy uh, into electrical energy, doing so through the use of cables and hydraulic ramps. Surface alternators are, um, are to be imagined as several floating devices that move relative one to the other. Um, the movement of the waves change the, the angles between these uh, this, uh, cylindrical, cylindrical flotation buoys, and that movement is transformed into electrical energy through the use of hydraulic ramps. Oscillating wave surge converters works on a very similar principle. Uh, the difference here is that we have a fixed part of the device. That fixed part is, is as I said, fixed to the bottom of the sea through the use of columns or a, a solid base and it has several devices attached on the surroundings. These devices uh, are floating on the surface of the water and the relative movement of these devices with the platform creates like, hydraulic power which later is, is transformed into electrical energy. On the other hand, uh, oscillated water columns works on a very different concept. They use the, the movement of the, the change in the swell to, to activate uh, a membrane which increases the pressure inside a container, the air pressure inside a container, that, uh, and later that air goes through a tube and through a, a turbine that transforms this, uh, this airflow into electrical energy. Overtopping devices uh, take advantage of the velocity of the wave to get water to a higher potential level, and taking advantage of that higher potential level, transform, uh, they transform this, this potential energy into electrical energy. Okay, and now we're going to talk about the history. Uh, the first recorded use of an ocean wave energy is actually from a patent in uh, Paris, France, filed by Monsieur Girard and his son. Uh, the uses were uh, to obtain mechanical uh, power, uh, I'm sorry, to operate pumps, mills, and other mechanical devices. Uh, what you see here is an illustration, uh, which is a, a typical mill from the time. Uh, this one is actually uh, 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 powered with a windmill. Uh, moving forward a couple centuries, um, we have developments from Yoshio Masuda, which is, who is considered the father of modern wave technology. Uh, he was an officer in the uh, Japanese Navy, and uh, his work commenced in the 1940s to develop uh, this buoy. Um, this buoy is of the oscillating wave column uh, um, configuration, and it is the uh, first commercially successful wave energy converter. And the way that it works is, uh, as, the buoy, as the buoy is moving up and down, uh, the water is swelling within this chamber, increasing the air pressure, which is then blowing through this turbine, turning a generator, which is used to power that light. Uh, it was a commercially available in Japan since 1969, and uh, shortly later, uh, shortly after, in the United States. Uh, moving on to the 1970s, um, due to the uh, oil crisis of the 1970s, there was a, a renewed interest in ocean wave energy. Uh, thanks to Stephen Salter, who uh, published a report in the journal Nature, he spearheaded ocean wave research in the 1970s. He uh, designed uh, an uh, oscillating wave surge converter known as the nodding duck. Uh, others have affectionately called it the Salter duck. And what it is essentially is, uh, like I said, oscillating wave uh, surge converters, which is a, like a series of horizontal drums. And as the waves impact them, they rock. Uh, that rocking motion induces motion in gyroscopes internally, which turn um, hydraulic ramps. <clears throat> and now we're going to discuss uh, current developments, okay? And we're going to talk
talk about uh, three key developments. First is the first successful power plant. Uh, it, was in, it was installed on the island of Islay off the coast of Scotland. Okay? And it's called the Islay Limpet. Limpet stands for Land Installed Marine Powered Energy Transformer. Okay? It's of the uh, configuration which is known as the oscillating wave column. And the way that it works is that the, the power plant is installed on shore and the, the structure has this overhanging, um, kind of like an awning, which traps water into this chamber. As the waves are coming back and forth, it's causing the water in the chamber to swell up and down, increasing and decreasing the air pressure in here, which is causing the turbine to move in both directions, thus obtaining electrical power. As um, the, uh, this installation was initially rated to, uh, to generate 500 kilowatts, uh, but it was recently downgraded to 250 kilowatts. As minor environmental impacts, um, marine life can become entrapped in the chamber, and also the noise from the turbines affect um, marine life communication. The next noteworthy wave energy converter is the Palamas Wave Energy Converter. It is the first successful offshore power plant, and it is a oscillating wave surge converter. Okay? So the way that this installation works, it has a series of partially submerged cylindrical structures, um, which as the wave is passing them, they are moving in relation to one another. Between the joints, are hydraulic rams, and that's how uh, they are able to obtain energy from the motions. Um, the first successful system was installed off the coast of Portugal, and it generates 2.25 megawatts. Um, the last um, uh, ocean wave energy converter uh, that is actually under current development is the Wavestar machine. Okay? Uh, this is installed off the coast of Denmark, uh, and it utilizes point absorber buoys, which move up and down and translate energy through hydraulic rams. It is currently rated at 600 kilowatts. I'm going to talk about some future, future developments. Uh, the first one is a sea base, which is uh, um, the, the first energy park uh, to be, the, the first, uh, it's, it's planned to be the first energy park of the world. Uh, most of the devices that, that are involved in this, in this park are uh, underwater devices, um, which makes it uh, environmental friendly because the only elements that are going to be floating in the surface are going to be the buoys. Um, it has an, an output power of approximately 10 megawatts. Uh, the OWL, on the other hand, the ocean wave from ocean wave technology is a floating device, uh, which takes the advantage of which which takes advantage of the velocity of the waves in order to create uh, high pressure areas inside the device. The high pressure areas, when they get to the, when they reach the, the, the bottom of the device, uh, push air through uh, a turbine that transforms the increased energy into electrical energy. The operational capacity is uh, approximately 500 kilowatts. Our conceptual design is based, uh, similar to the to the wave start, um, is based on a on a T-shaped buoy. The up and down movement of this buoy is going to activate uh, hydraulic ramps, which are going to transform which are later are going to be, are, we're going to transform that energy, the hydraulic energy, into, into electrical energy. Um, and we, we're going to, we're developing a system that's going to use um, a secondary device, which it's going to take advantage of the rotation of the shaft in order to, uh, to create a, a electrical energy. Here we have uh, two views of the device. We have a neutral view, where we could imagine the up and down movement, and we have a view in which the, the rotation of the, of the, of the, the shaft um, is being shown. Okay, so in conclusion, um, we want to express that uh, there are many opportunities um, that, that we must express that there is between one and 10,000 gigawatts of global potential energy, okay? And we must thank um, all the advances in hydrodynamic theories between the 70s and 80s and also the subsequent decades of technological uh, development. Um, we are uh, confident in saying that um, uh, there's an exciting future in ocean wave energy. Thank you.